All right, how's everybody doing? Hotep, hey, this is Michael on Hotep, founder of the African History Network, host of the African History Network show. I'm a talk show host, researcher, lecture writer, and historian. So I'm here at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History here in Detroit. I'm in the rotunda, so it echoes, so I'm talking lowly. Um, so I'm here to see, to see the King Tut exhibit, King Tut Ankerman, the King Tut exhibit, but when you walk in the rotunda, they have this exhibit here on the Underground Railroad, Underground Railroad history, which starts about 1830, 1831. And let me flip this around. Still trying to get used to this new camera. Hold on. Let me flip this around. How's everybody doing? Okay, so let's take a look at this here, right? So, journey on the Underground Railroad, okay? So you see everything from Frederick Douglass, to Harriet Tubman, Araminta Ross, you see uh, William Lambert George Baptiste, uh, De, ba De, uh, De Baptiste, um, William Lambert and George De Baptiste, they were abolitionists. They were here in Detroit. They worked to protect freedom seekers by ferrying them across the Detroit River to freedom in Windsor, Canada on De Baptiste's steamboat called the T. Whitney. So they have a picture of the T. Whitney here as well. So we know that some schools are on school break, spring break. So you could bring the children to come see the King Tut exhibit and to come see these other exhibits here that have Fugitive Slaves. We know the Fugitive Slave Act of 1793 and 1850, okay? Slave owners had the legal right to enter free states and force freedom seekers back into slavery. Slave owners often hire slave catchers to follow and find freedom seekers using tracking dogs and whips. Did you know that in 1831, when slave owners cap recaptured and tried to re-enslave Thornton and Ruthie Blackburn, Blackburn, the Detroit community helped to free them from jail and quickly, quickly ferried them across the Detroit River. Now this is something that my man, uh, Jamon Jordan, historian Jamon Jordan talks about. Fellow historian, shout out to Jamon Jordan. In Detroit, you have the Civil War, okay, which starts eight, eight, April 12, 1861, okay, with the attack on Fort Sumter in South Carolina. And we know that when you look at the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, so that was part of the Compromise of 1850. And the Compromise of 1850 was a result of the Mexican-American War of 1846-1848. So you hear me talk about this on my radio show, the African History Network show, you know, we talk about this in the online class. I teach ancient Kemet, the Moors, and the Ma'afa, understanding the transatlantic slave trade, what they didn't teach you in school, and from the Civil War to the Civil Rights Movement and Black Power, 1865 and 1968. Okay, we did with Frederick Douglass, Henry Box Brown, okay, who mailed himself to freedom. He was an escaped slave. He, he escaped by shipping himself to freedom inside a box only three foot wide and two feet high. Okay, Henry Box Brown. Let me flip this around. See, we were doing everything to get free. He traveled 350 miles from Richmond, Virginia to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, often traveling for extended periods on his head. After, the, after he reached freedom, his story became famous and he traveled around the world giving, uh, giving lectures about his experience. Henry Box Brown, little known African American history fact. But then when we look at the Underground Railroad, okay, it was an informal network of routes that helped freedom seekers or enslaved peoples escape uh, slavery. It was part of a larger movement called the Anti-Slavery Movement, which was developed to abolish uh, slavery after the American Revolution, American Revolution 1775 to 1783. But what a lot of people don't know is that there was a, a Southern Underground Railroad that went from Texas into Mexico, because Mexico was free territory after 1829 when Vicente Guerrero, who was the, first, who was the second president of Mexico, and he was of African descent also, he abolished slavery. So you had a lot of runaway slaves who ran away from uh, Texas and the surrounding states into Mexico uh, as well, okay? All right, hey, now I just set this up so you can give us stars as well. Um, 
I'm still learning that system. We can generate money from stars. So give us stars, give us thumbs, thumbs up, give us a like. Be sure to listen to the African History Network show tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to give you an update. Will Smith, Chris Rock, Oscars. We'll talk about some other things. We'll talk about the NFL. And uh, the NFL has a new rule where they're going to be required to uh, each team have a uh, assistant coach that's quote unquote minority. We're going to talk about some other topics um, as well on tonight's show. Out of California, California state legislature has determined that they're going to, uh, they, they, they have this um, uh, bill for reparations, and they've determined that the reparations in California is only going to be for uh, people who were descendants of slaves, or descendants of slaves here in the U.S., so not immigrants or Jamaican immigrants or uh, uh, Caribbean immigrants, things like this. Very interesting. Now, one of the problem, one of the one of the things I'm trying to find out is, okay, well, California really doesn't have a history of slavery. So even though you, California becomes a state in the union in 1850, Cal, part of the compromise in 1850. Okay, we'll talk about all this tonight. All right, uh, follow us on Facebook, the African History Network. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, turn on live notifications. So you know when we go live. Follow us on YouTube, Michael M Hotel. Turn on live notifications as well. You can support the African History Network, dollar sign, the AHN show through Cash App, dollar sign, the AHN show through Cash App, also through PayPal, paypal.me forward slash the AHN show. Okay? Talk to you later. Right now, it's correct for wrong behaviors. Not over till we win. We're kind of forever. We'll talk to you next time. Peace.